Hi, I'm Luke Shervell. Welcome to another episode of Meet the Gaffer. Today, we're going to talk about the Godox No Lead P600 by Hard. And we're going to compare it, just for fun, with the Godox No Lead F600 by. Not hard. We'll start with the Flex Light, and it's a four foot by four foot unit that's foldable, that it's easily transportable. The one by one hard is also small, it's just one foot by one foot, but completely a different type of unit. So just for yucks, we'll use that same diffusion for the comparison with the hard unit. So we'll start with this, and I have it at full output, so we're not trying to make any kind of pretty picture. No LCD, just 100% at 5,600. To camera, I've got 200 foot candles. If I go to the unit, 220. So, and this is about eight feet to my nose. Eight feet. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, we're back, 180. 180 foot candle. So yeah, just uh, a little bit less. Um, I pulled it away to sort of fill out the diffusion a little bit more. There's still, you know, a, a decent hot spot. Uh, obviously it's a hard unit. So, you know, you can get pretty close. Obviously here you'd have to uh, either have like a, a soft box on it without the front, you know, just to corral it a little bit or a bunch of flags. Very similar in a sense. Uh, but here, yeah, a little more specular, which you might actually want with, with a, uh, an interview if you want it, you know, a little more poppy. Yeah, you, it feels like you want to soften this, but it does have a little less output. I just thought it'd be a fun comparison to uh, throw that out there. And here again, you can kind of see, you know, that the difference of, you know, having to get that hard unit further back to uh, fill the diffusion if you want that larger source so it takes up more room in your setup. One thing I have noticed is when you put a diffuser really close to those emitters, it takes away the advantage of the hard light in a hurry. So there's still definitely uh, uses for both types of, of units uh, in our world. Soft lights obviously are difficult to make hard. Hard lights you can make softer. So then I did another experiment where I compared the sun and how the sun was playing through a window and how this unit could do it as the sun went down. So here the sun is no longer on the window, but there's still skylight out, outside. So then I turned on the 600 by and it's still dark, obviously, in the room. So I opened up uh, two stops from a five, six to a two, eight. And then I figured I needed just a little bit more help. So I opened up from 200 ISO to 500. In retrospect, I probably opened up a little too much. So now I'm kind of blowing out the windows. And so you're not seeing the, the mullions, but that probably would have been more prominent with a Fresnel. I imagine, uh, didn't try that, but you know, and the color is off. Anyway, it, I, it wasn't an exact science, but it was uh, fun to try. There you have it. All right, now let's just look at the numbers. And of course, these numbers can get closer with firmware updates. Hey, thanks again for watching. We'll see you again next time. I also want to show you I'm recording this on a uh, new DJI mic receivers and, and transmitters. Uh, you get two little transmitters and a receiver in a cute little box that, that's good for charging. It's similar to things that Hollyland has put out, that uh, Rode has, a number of different companies have these. I liked this because it had little adapters so I could put it into the iPhone. So then I can walk around and, and record easily. The other nice thing is that I can plug in my uh, regular microphone, you know, lobs uh, in this as well. You can record without that, or you can plug these in and use it. You can also record 
to this. So you don't have to go through a camera. You could just record uh, for hours and hours. Uh, so that's pretty slick. Uh, and they're, they're super tiny. <laughs> so uh, for what I do, you know, the, the distances that I need, uh, this is a, a pretty slick little, little setup.